Happy hump day, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army. It is Wednesday, it is midweek. The market is up yet again, 5.3%. And I'm actually recording right now at a time when Bitcoin has slipped a little bit because it was above $40,000 briefly, even though now it's just below 39K. You have a lot of projects, especially the altcoins, which are catching up with, I think, a, a resurgence right now in positivity and optimism. We've been seeing some incredible price movement and we'll be covering some some of our favorites they will be taking a look at polygon revisiting that news added of course to the mark cuban portfolio engine is in the news with an nft a non-fungible token announcement paid network fuses in the news blind boxes we're also giving away of course 50 dollars worth of eth that's 50 bucks us in ethereum stay tuned to the end of this video we'll be announcing the winner guys if you like this kind of content bitcoin blockchain cryptocurrency and altcoins especially be sure to like and subscribe to altcoin buzz news All right, there is perhaps a smidge of negativity that we should address right off the bat. Although I, I have to say with more and more FUD that's coming out, it seems like we've been inoculated. It seems like it's having less and less of an impact as are Elon Musk's tweets. They're still relevant, but it's kind of hitting that point now of diminishing returns, which I think is a good thing. It means we're becoming more resilient. I, I think a lot of the, uh, the new entrants in this space that got spooked out of it, you know, fast forward a week now, it's seven days since that massive crash of May 19th. I think people are realizing like, holy cow, things bounce back pretty quickly, don't they? So maybe in retrospect, I, I shouldn't have sold, I shouldn't have bought high and sold low. Maybe everything's always 2020 in hindsight, right? But I do think that we're becoming more resilient. Documenting Bitcoin, pointing out a little bit of FUD here. Iran has announced a four month ban on Bitcoin mining in the country. Officials blame this ban on issues with the power grid, but local mining facilities are now generating up to $1 billion in coins per year. Money out of the hands of government and into the hands of the people. It's kind of a curious story, and I think this has somewhat negatively impacted the markets, but in the grand scheme of things, who cares? Uh, if this is also a question of the power grid, I'm not really sure how that factors in for Iran, because my understanding is that they're, I, I, I can't quote it, but I think they're in the top five in terms of global oil reserves. They're uh, an energy uh, powerhouse from that perspective, but... I don't know. I'm not Iranian. If you guys, you all members of the altcoin buzz army hail from Iran, whether you consider yourself Persian or Iranian or what have you, please enlighten me on this story. It's kind of not a big deal, a little bit of negative news, but not uh, all that big a deal. Let's move on to the positive. And now the rest of the video is basically all positive. We discussed yesterday Polygon, aka Matic, previously Matic, but ticker is still Matic, the Twitter handle zero x Polygon. It goes by a whole bunch of names, right? Mark Cuban is one of the most prolific and insightful investors with investments in top startups. He is also one of the sharks on ABC Shark Tank. We covered this yesterday. Polygon, ticker Matic, has now been added as part of the Mark Cuban company portfolio. You can read about this on Coindesk.com. Mark Cuban invests in Ethereum Layer 2 solution Polygon. Quote, I was a Polygon user and find myself using it more and more, Cuban said in an email. Taking a look at the leading gainers in the last 24 hours, we'll be getting to Engine Coin in just a second. It is up 41%. As I mentioned, we have big engine news today. Uh, number three is the spot that Polygon takes, now up 28.2% in these last 24 hours, $2.22. And Polygon is rapidly coming back to its all-time highs that it set, I guess, just a few days ago. Was that a couple weeks ago? Let's check here. All-time high, all-time high, $2.62 set eight days ago, so just over a week ago. We're not far. We're within 40 cents, um, you know, not financial advice, but I suspect that Polygon with all this momentum that it's been generating for itself in this bear phase that we've been experiencing, this, this crash, I think Polygon is destined for great things. So keep an eye out for Matic Indeed. I'll link to all of this as always in the description below. We also have this very encouraging news. Uniswap V3, which we talked about yesterday, has flipped V2 version two on volume and both versions flip Bitcoin on fee revenue. Both iterations of the world's most popular decentralized exchange now generate more fee revenue 
than Bitcoin. So in addition to V3 topping the daily transaction volumes of V2, both have individually, i.e. independently, both of them have surpassed Bitcoin in terms of daily fee generation. The move was observed by Uniswap founder Hayden Adams, who commented that both are earning more daily and weekly fees than Bitcoin miners. Data from crypto fees showed that Uniswap version 3, which was launched really just about three weeks ago on the 5th of May, generated $4.5 million with V2, uh, V2 rather generating $3.8 million in fees for the day. Bitcoin was behind both of them at the time with $3.7 million in daily fee generation. This has kind of been our contention for a little while because historically, going back to the transition from Uniswap V1 to V2, there was this exponential growth. There was uh, all the metrics suggested that V2 was going to really be a great success. And now we have every reason to believe with the expansion of DeFi, with the dominance of Uniswap as a DEX, a decentralized exchange, that we're going to see similar dominance by V3 as we transition from V2 to V3. Uh, that was kind of almost assumed as a default. But the fact that now they're both surpassing Bitcoin uh, is even better news. So kudos to Hayden and the team. Let's get on to that engine news here. This is a pretty big deal. Engine airdrops 50,000 NFTs embedded in social media ads. You may have seen this news recently. So Engine has completed an airdrop of 50K unique NFTs via digital ads and social media posts, laying the ground for a revolution in how brands interact with potential consumers. Quote, marketing campaigns are most effective when they interact with the audience giving instead of demanding, in other words, said Maxim Blagoff, the CEO of Engine. Traditionally, giving away free physical items is expensive, while digital items require adding friction to prevent abuse. NFTs are revolutionary for the marketing industry. They combine the simplicity and low cost of digital campaigns with the engagement of physical marketing. For brands seeking new ways to reach their audience, this is an enormous step forward. And as noted here by the article, the use of Engine's JumpNet blockchain allowed the project to send all 50,000 NFTs at no cost, while a similar feat on Ethereum would have cost over $1 million in gas fees, which kind of in itself is a, a, a side marketing campaign, if you will, or at least a, a very impressive achievement for JumpNet, for the JumpNet blockchain. Engine, as I've been mentioning over the course of these last few months, is doing some incredible things with regard to non-fungible tokens. And although I have my reservations about certain NFTs, kind of when it comes to the artsy fartsy kind of uh, high art, if you want to call it abstract art, things like uh, CryptoPunks and the stuff that Beeple has been creating, um, you know, millions of millions of dollars for essentially digital paintings or digital art. I'm not into that. But the stuff that Engine is doing is pretty revolutionary because I feel that NFTs, rather than sort of an acute example of a very expensive piece, I think NFTs can really cater to that long tail of the demographic. And as evidenced by what we just read, I mean, the distribution logistics are, are impeccable. They're, they're beautiful versus something that's going to be more physical as a collectible. This from yesterday here to kind of corroborate my point about Engine really seeing the future of this space. According to research markets, the global games market is expected to reach $277 billion by 2025. Check out this article by My Metaverse on our NFT minting platform and its ability to solve key problems faced by the fast growing industry. And this is exactly what I was talking about, that long tail, that broad demographic, not that one individual that's willing to pay $69 million for a Beeple piece of digital art, but the millions and ten and hundreds of, probably billions of people that game and that will be gaming in 2025. Engine is doing it right. Engine is doing some very impressive things. It's uh, not a surprise at all that, you know, we like Polygon, that's great, but it's not a surprise at all, at least in my opinion, to see Engine up on the day. Now, just under 40%, uh, a remarkable achievement for ENJ. Kudos. And you guys should be checking their social media to see if maybe you can be the recipient of one of those 50K NFTs. Moving right along, Paid Network is in the news from earlier today. Paid Network, we've been laser focused to develop our flagship smart agreements by integrating new features and improving existing functionalities. Today, we're ready to announce the next updates that will help catalyze the next wave of adoption for the DAP. And you can check out this tech 
update here. The paid BSC bridge, that's Binance Smart Chain Bridge, is now up and running. Uh, that's actually another piece of news, which is still good news. It's good that the Binance Smart Chain is up and running. But referencing uh, this particular uh, DAP update, specifically this is from today, the 26th of May, paid tech update, that's P-A-I-D tech update, massive update incoming. At Paid Network, we're constantly looking to evolve our flagship smart agreements product by integrating new features, improving existing functionality, and boosting efficiency for businesses looking to leverage smart agreements as part of their operations. Here's a quick look at what is coming for the uh, next paid DAP. You have smart contract rewrite, BSC bridge, as we referenced in that other article from a couple of days ago, the 24th of May, IPLD integration and paid DAP UI UX update, as well as Connext integration, Comento library integration, decentralized identity or DID support as well. Check out the other features and learn more about paid. I'll link to all of this in the description below, but kudos on a major update there, a major tech milestone, if you will, and checkpoint for the paid team. Fuse Network is also in the news. Apparently, they're still hiring, so check in with them if that's something that may interest you. Lending is now available on Fuse Network. In partnership with Ola Finance, we introduce a brand new approach to decentralized lending. Try out the service today. The web app and the guide is available here on medium.com. You can check it out. We're on medium.com slash FuseNet, the Fuse blog. Lending powered by Ola Finance, a new paradigm in DeFi on Fuse launching today, the 26th of May, hump day at 9 a.m. UTC. Supported currencies are Fuse, WETH, WBTC, and USDC. Check it out. One of our favorite up and comers is also in the news blind boxes from a couple days ago, actually, the 24th of May. So the 24th of May was Monday, and that's when they kicked off the BLES mining mechanism for users that purchase blind boxes. Tokens will be distributed retroactively to users that have already purchased NFTs on the platform. If you have purchased NFTs on the platform, this may apply to you. Check it out here on medium.com. Product update. NFT purchase triggering BLES token mining mechanism. Again, that's from the 24th of May. Okay, that is all the news that is fit to uh, publish, I guess. Well, how, do you, how do you say it in terms of YouTube? That's all the news that's fit to cover in today's video, I suppose. You can't release, you know, the old expression is all the news that's fit to print. So <laughs> with that being said, let's move on to the giveaway. We're looking at Altcoin Buzz News. Of course, our new YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's go to yesterday's video in which we discussed some metrics in support of and arguing against the bear market potentially that some people are calling for. I kind of tentatively said, look, I'm cautiously optimistic, right? I feel that we're going to be kind of in an extended bull market going forward. But that being said, anything is possible in cryptocurrency. It's anybody's guess what's going to happen. Once again, you guys are commenting. You're doing a good job of commenting, nearly 500 comments. You're not liking. So just as a personal favor, right? We're trying to grow the channel. That's the whole rationale behind this Ethereum giveaway. Here's what you got to do. Number one, you got to like the video and you guys are commenting, but not liking. So please like the video. Number two, comment on the video. Number three, subscribe to Altcoin Buzz. If you do those three, you are eligible to potentially win $50 worth of Ethereum. Let's go ahead and take the URL of the video, copy that. Okay, and I'm going to go over to Raffle Dash and insert that into the random comment picker. Stanley Dixon, thanks for the content heart ETH. So congratulations, Stanley. You've won $50 worth of Ethereum. Go back and find this comment specifically from yesterday's video. Reply to your own comment with this Stanley Dixon profile. And please use the address or give us the address, the Ethereum address to which you would like us to send your $50 worth of ETH. It's that easy. You may as well throw your hat into the race. Participate by commenting, liking, subscribing to Altcoin Buzz News. Congratulations, Stanley. You are the winner. And that is about it for today, everybody. Bit of a round up in terms of what's happening in the altcoin space my recommendation because this is such a fast moving sector you guys follow us on all the regular social media channels in fact keep checking back into altcoinbuzz.io for all the latest like subscribe share hit the bell to receive notifications if you enjoyed today's video none of this is financial advice as i think you know but uh, look we're not naive a lot of you are investing and to that end i wish you the very best of luck if you do choose to invest Stay safe, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army. On this hump day, enjoy your midweek. And as always, we do up to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.